Um, this talk's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we'll get into we'll get into why I think uh, to many people what is about to happen uh, in order to to make um, Ethereum scale as promised will be a bit unexpected. Anyway, let's dig in. So uh, I'm going to be talking about summoning the spirit of the dank shard. Um, this uh, might be a, a strange uh, idea to to many, but uh, we'll see. So as uh, Scala was mentioning. Uh, we have some problems in terms of fees, scalability, etc. The idea is there's this power we can call upon, the power of dank sharding, uh, which basically massively scales the data that we have access to within Ethereum. And uh, this data availability will allow L2s and whichever other uh, platforms that uh, would like to build on top of us, uh, the Ethereum chain, um, to massively grow Ethereum. Um, so the fees will be low lower for average users, while at the same time we can uh, stop state bloat, which is a, I think most of the client teams will uh, uh, attest to a serious issue. So how does, what, what does this look like? Um, the idea is that we have these massive blobs of data um, where the L2s um, and whomever else can basically just dump crazy amounts of it. Um, like orders of magnitude more than is currently possible. Um, and then we have this, this black box uh, gadget. Um, it's a cryptography gadget like uh, Danny was talking about earlier, these black boxes, uh, calls a KZG commitment, which allows us to take this data and only put a tiny reference to it on chain. Um, but we can also prove wonderful things about this data using, using this tool. Then what we do is we take this, um, the, 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 the data, and once the chain has progressed, a little bit, we can throw it away. And what we've been guaranteed is not that the chain stores the data forever because we can't, we can't keep doing that, but what we can guarantee is that everyone had access to the data. So if you cared about that data, you could have downloaded it um, and you can now uh, be rest assured that your, 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 your data is there and available. And this is the power of dank sharding and is how Ethereum will achieve um, the, the ability to scale to hopefully the entire world's needs. So what exactly uh, is inside this box? It is uh, a bunch of moon math, some polynomials, and uh, most importantly for uh, what we're here for today is a, uh, a secret. It's a secret that I can't know, that you can't know, the client teams can't know, no one in the world can know. And uh, it is vital that we have the secret in order to enable the powers of dank sharding um, but it also, the powers of dank sharding are completely decimated if the secret is compromised. So the idea is we're going to summon the secret from out of the ether. Um, the, there's a ceremony that I, um, everyone else sitting here, the entire Ethereum community, and hopefully members from around the world will participate in in order to produce the secret in a shared manner. And uh, once we all have contributed and attested to it, the idea is that um, as soon as, well, as, sorry, as long as one of us is honest, one of us doesn't try, go in the code, change the code and throw away, uh, sorry, sorry, keep, um, sorry, w one person makes sure to throw away the secret that their computer knew for but a moment, um, then we will be good. Um, and this again ties into a bit of what Danny was saying about resiliency. Uh, there are multiple implementations of this that are needed. Uh, we need as many people running it as possible, um, institutions, uh, home stakers, whomever, uh, because they could be that final burning candle that keeps Ethereum secure. Um, this, uh, the, the, the idea being not that you trust one person to be honest, but that you're pretty sure that amongst the thousands of people that have participated, there's at least one of us who have done the right thing, or in this case, not the wrong thing, um, in order to, to summon the secret. The idea is uh, we'll have many interfaces, but the primary one uh, will be browser accessible. The goal is to have some, somewhere on the order of 5,000 contributions. We'll take five minutes of your time, so 
hopefully a, a trivial thing to do to help improve the security of the network and be sure yourself because if you participated, you knew that you didn't do any of the, the weird things to try um, compromise the security. Um, and the file is very small relative to some of these other ceremonies we've seen before. My idea was to do a demo to show you uh, quite how simple it is. It was going to be fun, interactive. People are going to get on stage. It was going to be a blast. There were pandas that were going to be thrown around. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, I've uh, been let down a little bit by uh, the, the Wi-Fi, conference Wi-Fi, um, and the gods of uh, trying to do demos on stage. Um, I was warned against that I still persisted, and here we are. Um, anyway, um, this, the, the idea is uh, there's this interface you'll come to, um, the ceremony, and there's this guide which will walk you through the processes that uh, you need to partake in to invoke the spirit of the dunk shard. Um, it's, as normal, you'll sign in with your Ethereum account. Um, you'll wiggle your mouse around a bit. It's collecting all sorts of data. You can draw pretty uh, pictures, uh, write names of lost lovers, etc. Uh, with your mouse, you can type some secret that uh, hopefully means something to you, but ideally you're going to forget. Um, and all of this will be con combined with some additional, uh, some additional randomness from your computer, with the idea being that uh, you don't know it, and if even one of these little steps are compromised, then uh, that's, that's not super important. Um, the, uh, uh, th then there's this, this contribution phase where your computer st starts getting all the, um, the data. Um, there is one, one server which will send you this information where you are now the person who's been entrusted with the powers of Tau for a moment. It's your time to shine. You will take these secrets that, or your computer will take these secrets that you've just generated. You'll mix it in with everyone else, your ancestors in the ceremony who've come before. And uh, the, then you, you will uh, return the powers to the next, the next user. Um, and uh, this is how we're going to have the powers of Dunkshard uh, and Dunksharding draw near. Um, this very complicated chart of what's happening. All that's, that's needed to know is for uh, dunk sharding in EIP 4844, I don't know if those mean anything to you, but this is all part of the, uh, the surge uh, phase of our scaling. Um, that uh, in about a month or so, we'll be going live with this, this main ceremony. Um, and uh, hopefully all of you in this room will join me in participating, all the people listening. Um, that would that, that'd really be fantastic. Let's uh, scale to these, these thousands of participants. Um, there'll be grants. Um, I want to encourage people to write their own implementations. Um, you might be scared of cryptography or think that um, this is not, a, not something you've practiced or whatever, but you can't really go wrong um, writing your own implementation. There's, there's no way to break it. It will just tell you, sorry, you were wrong if you made a mistake. So please, if you want to try, dabble in some cryptography. This is a, a great time to try. Um, otherwise, if you've got some crazy ideas on how to create a secret, um, you want to do vision trips in the desert or something, uh, fly in aeroplanes, um, you're going to like destroy your computer afterwards, whatever you, you think is a meaningful way of creating the this, this secret or destroying, making sure, proving to the world that you've destroyed it afterwards in a fun, interesting, like narratively relevant way, um, that would, th there'll be grants that you can, uh, you can join for doing this. So, um, sign up uh, the, on this, this thing to be notified. I'm sure you, everyone will be seeing lots of this happening on all the Twitters. There'll be a Pope, which uh, I know means a lot to a lot of people. Shout out Patricia in the front row here. Um, and uh, yeah, so look, look forward to this. I encourage all of you to, uh, to, to be ready to contribute. And uh, if you'd like to hear more, I have another talk coming up later in the week to dive into the details, explain really the, the nitty gritty of the math and why this is a secure thing and why it's a necessary thing um, in order for Ethereum to achieve our goals. Thank you.